Hi, cozy friends. How are we today? So today we're playing Processions of Calvary. And it just looked like such a fun and quirky, cute <laughs> game with like humor and art style that I think a lot of you would appreciate. And so here we are, all right? We're playing some, some good old, I don't even know what you would call this. Oh, sorry. Procession to Calvary. I can't remember anything. Procession to Calvary. Look how beautiful the art is. Okay, new game. Okay. very violent is youtube gonna allow this youtube might not allow this they might get taken down <laughs> i don't know what he's saying exactly oh whoa that's enough the holy war is over no way already yes we won dang good have, has triumphed over evil i gotta move my i gotta move my uh... the north is finally free from the tyranny of heavenly peter does that mean I have to stop murdering people? Yes, we are now entering a time of peace. A time of spiritual freedom. I forgot I should be doing voices. But I don't have the freedom to kill a few more people. No! No more. <laughs> no. no more murders. One more murder? No more murders. This is the worst day of my life. If you have a problem with a new regime, please take it up with our new leader, Immortal John. All hail Immortal John. Oh, hail Immortal John. Who's Immortal John? I guess I better find this Immortal John chap. Okay. Bugle boys. Oh, bugle boys. Hi, bugle boys. What is this? Dead guy? Someone's put a big hole in this poor chap's sternum. That was you. <laughs> you did that. Rest in peace, you leaky titted back. Oh my God. I think I'll leave him there. Okay. A group of lads playing the stars and stripes forever by John Philip Sousa. Tootie 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 tootie. <laughs> Bravo! Alright, let's look over here. Death beheading a cadaver. Oh my god, yeah it is. I think I'd better leave him to it. Alright. Just death beheading a wee cadaver over there, no biggie. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, where else can I go? Field Marshal? <laughs> You punched like a girl. I am a girl, you witless oaf. I know, I know. I didn't mean it as an insult, just an observation. It was more technique than power, very precise. It was a good punch. Oh, okay, thanks. I didn't realize we were a girl, okay. That's nice. Hello, what do you want now? Please, can I kill some more people? <laughs> when will I be able to do more murders? Okay, where will I find Immortal John? I'm just gonna have him not have an accent because I have to talk in so long with him. He's about 20 paces to the right. It's really not that difficult. Please. <laughs> no. If you have a problem with the new regime, please take it up with the mortal John. Okay. All right, I'm off, I'm off. Good luck. Thanks for your service. And remember, no more murders. All right, hanging corpse. Gotta keep moving my thing. <laughs> I love this music. Gross. A bloated hanging corpse with a pair of scissors sticking out of its back. Okay. He doesn't look like he has much to say. Okay, where's Immortal John? I'm not a trained firefighter, but I'm pretty sure that's not how you do it. <laughs> right. I think the fires progress beyond the blowout phase. I can see my house from here. <laughs> All right, buddy. Well, where do we want to go? How do we, how do we, uh... Oh, we just, okay, I see. There's Immortal John. All hail Immortal John. Active in the ass. Some religious types debasing themselves in front of Immortal John. They're busy with their prostrations. He's gonna smack him too. <laughs> All right, Immortal John, what you got? What you got? Immortal John, the new spiritual leader of the North. Excuse me. How can I help you? Are you our new leader? Can I do some more murders now, please? Don't I recognize you from somewhere? Let's say this. Quite possibly. I used to be a progression. Pro I used to be a protagonist, just like you. I believed I was somehow special. Somehow more important than everyone else. I thought I had a personal mission in life. And that my desire to achieve my goals justified all manner of terrible deeds. 
Oh yeah, you're the dude who murdered the Pie King. Indeed. That is one of my many misdeeds I was driven to perform by my selfish selfishness. Are you our new leader? I am just another person, a child of Mother Earth. The people have chosen to see me as their leader. They have given me a crown, but my life is of no more value than any of my so-called subjects. I would happily renounce my title, but the people have chosen to follow me, and I believe their will to be more important than my own individual desire. Well, he sounds nice. How'd you get the name? Before the war, Heavenly Pizza forced me to jump from the bell tower in a ritualistic murder ceremony called the Leap of Faith. It was a cruel tradition he used to absolve himself of the responsibility of murder. One of many such te techniques he used to keep us, the people, in a state of terrified subservience. But I broke the chain by landing in a passive hay wane. I survived the fall with little more than a mild concussion and some vivid nightmares. The people mistook my serendipitous survival for a miracle and named me Immortal John. Are you really immortal? I highly doubt it, but I guess it's impossible to know for sure until it's too late. Can I do some more murders now? Absolutely not. Heavenly Peter's hateful reign is over. I intend to be a, benev a benevolent leader. I believe all men are equal. I can't do this, boys. And equally deserving of happiness. I believe in friendship and love. I believe we can all work together to build a fairer, more prosperous society. I do not believe in murder. What led you to adopt such beliefs? I suffered as much as anyone else at the hands of Heavenly Pizza. I led the people in the uprisings against his murderous regime. We fought the soldiers of the South and drove Peter and all his followers home. Men, women, and children all came together to fight for a single cause. And we achieved something so great, none of us had ever dared to dream it possible. That was when I realized the error of my old selfish ways. The power of people with a shared goal of teamwork. It was a revelation more, th more powerful than any I had been supplied by God. So we renounced his words and began looking to each other for guidance. Wait, so you never actually killed Heavenly Peter? No. Unfortunately, he fled back to the south before we got the chance. Surely it wouldn't be against your beliefs for me to murder him? <laughs> well, he did murder my family and attempt to murder me. And while he is one of the people, he's not one of my people. So I guess I could turn a blind eye. Yes! You won't regret this, my lord. Mission accepted. I'm not strictly speaking asking you in an official travel south kill heavenly peter got it <laughs> i didn't actually all oh, yeah. immortal john <laughs> she runs off oh my god this is great this is great oh man ahoy boat man can you take me to the south i could take you to a lugger i could take you to a brig <laughs> i could take you to a fully rigged panace that could take you to the south. Splendid. Uh, let's depart without further delay. But I won't be going anywhere until I get my oars back. What happened to your oars? They were sequestered by the medics of the field hospital to make crutches and the like for the battle-worn soldiers. If you have no oars, why are you still standing in your boat? I'm a boatman. <laughs> I have to man the boat. That's literally my only job, and I ain't got to stop just because some punk stole my oars. <laughs> Do you ever get seasick? I, got, I, I once got explosive diarrhea from eating bucket cockles. I aimed it over the edge of the boat and the poop was so powerful. I traveled eight furlongs northeast. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, no, I think that would count as food poisoning, but thanks for the nightmares. I guess I should go find you some dang oars then, eh? That would be lovely. Thanks. All right, let's find these swords. Nude men wrestling. Huh. A couple of lads having a good old <laughs> naked tussle. I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Why not? All right, all right, all right. That's fine. What are these? Discarded clothing. I'm already dressed immaculately. For some reason, these chaps decided to get naked before fighting. I guess they didn't want to get their jerkins dirty. Or maybe they did want to get their gherkins dirty. <laughs> I'm not here to judge. Talk to the discarded clothing? Eat the discarded clothing? Whatever you're suggesting, I don't like it. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Let's... Celest? A grey-wigged Celest playing Johann Sebastian Bach's Suite Number no. 3 in C Major. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. Let's... Well, I need to... I need to walk about. Oh, there's his dang oars. Cripple, give me the oars. One-legged beggar with some unorthodox crutches. Hey. Yes, miss? Can I borrow your crutches? What do you need them for? I'm traveling south to kill Heavenly Peter. 
I need the crutches to power the dinghy. That will take me to the lugger. That will take me to the brig. That will take me to the fully rigged panas. That will take me to the south. You hate Heavenly Peter? I don't know what he's saying. I'd have whole legs if it wasn't for him. I'm a follower of the doctrine of Memorial John. He wishes to be secondary to those of the people. What? Okay, let me move my... <laughs> I'm trying to guess here and uh, it's not good. So I will, have to I will have to ask them. Eh, okay. Hey guys, should I give this lass my crutches so she can kill Heavenly Peter? Nope, I don't trust her. Abstain from voting. Too sad. <laughs> no way. That spoiled bitch already has socks and shoes. Why should she get crutches too? Sorry, the people have spoken. Damn, I might just have to steal him, buddy. Hey. <laughs> Blam. <laughs> you hurt my face and my feelings. Well, give them to me. <laughs> okay. Let's figure this out. A sad oafish knight with a rather fetching battle axe. Are you okay? Nope. Why so glum, chum? I've been waiting here for six days and the queue hasn't moved. What injuries are you seeking care for? I'm having a moment of existential despair. I'm gonna kill Heavenly Peter. About time to. Heavenly Peter's the source of all our woes. The list of his crimes is longer than that poor man's hair. Can you help me get to the south? I'm no help to anyone. Not with that attitude. That is all. Sigh. All right, a pitiful looking knight with no shoes on. Hello, what do you want? What are you doing down there? Waiting to get looked at by the doctor. What injuries are you seeking care for? My boots came off and now my tootsies are cold. I think you need a cobbler or a cord wainer, not a doctor. The doctor is the cobbler. He got promoted after the last chump took a spear to the midriff. I'm gonna kill Heavenly Peter. Good for you, Heavenly Peter's the worst kind of villain. Oh, okay. Can you help me get to the south? Do I look like a sailor to you? No, you look like a grumpy knight. I suggest you find a ship if you want to go to the south. Okay, bye. Bye. Hi, guard. A fancy looking guard guarding a door. Okay. Excuse me. Yes. Step aside. I must enter the hospital. The hospital is at capacity. You have to wait in line. Do you accept bribes? I do not. How about now? Please go away. <laughs> That's an expensive looking suit of armor for someone on guard duty. I didn't buy this armor. I murdered its previous owner. <laughs> Never mind. Do I want to touch him? Let's see what, what he does. Aww, they're there. Everything will be okay. I appreciate the gesture, but I see no evidence to support your claim. What do I do for him? I don't like to kick or punch a man when he's down. That's, that's fair. Don't even think about it. <laughs> alright, alright, what about you? He's gonna clap. Yep. <laughs> Bravo! Hello? How can I help you? What's up? We are waiting in line for the field hospital. What injuries? His hair has grown too long and keeps poking his peepers. That doesn't sound very serious. Suffering is relative to a man's experience of hardship. This poor chap hasn't had an easy life thus far. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm gonna kill Heavenly Peter. Wonderful, Heavenly Peter's a scoundrel. He once farted on the pre-ferment for my malt loaf and the yeast became so active that it lifted the thatch off my kitchen. Can you help me get to the south? I don't know a thing about that. I don't know anything about that sort of thing. No one was helpful. Literally, not a soul was helpful here. You all were useless. Truly. Oh yeah, let's go down here. Goodbye, cruel world! I didn't think that would happen. I didn't think I would actually die. I thought she would get down safely. I'm gonna eat my beef stick in defeat. All right, that's nice. It just starts you off uh, <laughs> normally. Well, I don't know where to go. I guess we go left, maybe? Can I get some socks? Yes! Ah, oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go back. Oh, I love that. I love this kind of game. Okay, who needed socks? You needed socks. Here's your socks, buddy. Oh, piss off. As I'm sure you can see from the queue at my entryway, I'm very busy. I have a hundred sick men in here and only two lubricated thumbs. I don't have time to chat. <laughs> you heard the man. Piss off. I was actually just trying to give these socks to my friend, thank you. I thought he would want the socks, no? Maybe, okay, let's see. Should I just kill him? I really don't want to kill him. I can and I don't want to. Do you like samphire? What's that? I don't know. I think like an herb or something? I don't have an opinion on that. Cool, good chat. I brought your crutches now? I don't know, let's see. Hey guys, should I give this last my crutches so she can kill Heavenly Peter? Nope, I don't trust her. Yeah, why not? No way. That spoiled bitch already has socks and shoes. Why should she get crutches too? Two out of three ain't bad. I guess I'll be crawling through the muck from now on here. Oh, thank God. Okay. So what, I just had to talk? It's just on the floor. 
Do you want socks? All right. Well, let's go. Let's go. I don't know. I don't know what was necessary there. I think just talking to everybody. I told you I can't take you anywhere until I've got my horse back. I got you some dang oars. Can you take me to the lugger? That can take me to the bridge. That can take me to the fully rigged panas. That can take me to the south now. Sure. Just untie us from the mooring post and jump in. I'm not good with knots. Ah. <laughs> Prepare to be boarded. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> am I in the south or now am I still in the <laughs> this is amazing <laughs> thanks for giving me a ride I would have never got this far south on foot no problem, pal. But you traveling this far south for anyways. Feeling the holy war, I guess. The holy war is over. We won. Ain't no winners in war, lady. True. Looks like one of your wheels broke. But judging by that massive statue of Heavenly Peter, I'd say we reached my destination. So I couldn't care less. So long, sucker. <laughs> Look at my massive key. What business do you have in our town? Okay, I think this is a good place to stop in the demo so that we don't like... If you want to play, it doesn't really give any spoilers, you know? This was really fun and hilarious, and I really want to finish. I think I might finish it tonight. I love it. I love games like this. I love games where, like, you have to... First of all, your choices, like, affect the rest of the game, because if you do go around killing people, apparently, based on the description of the game, like, it does affect how the rest of the game plays out. So, like, choices, good or bad, affect the rest of the game and then like just having to go back and forth and like figure things out and like you know think through things to get to the end goal is great i love the art style i love the humor the humor is like right on par with the kind of stuff i like in games and yeah i'm loving it i loved it what did you guys think are you gonna play it if this is on switch i just kind of found it randomly and i haven't heard anybody talking about this so i'm gonna i'm gonna start raving about this because it's hilarious and I love, ooh, like, girl boss, girl boss, female protagonist. I love it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Stay cozy. I love you. Bye.